Bars and they're loaded in my pack All that stress that's in my body's always driving me insane When I'm reeling in that buzzbait, it just seems to go away Now you see fishing ain't a habit, it's a passion in my souls When I'm casting and I'm smashing all these bass that are on my pole Now for a minute or an hour, if I'm fishing then I'm fine I just only need a second when I'm wetting up a line So if the weather's super crappy or you might be stuck inside Search G4 Outdoors YouTube online But as I look up and I ask can I please just catch a break? I got my rod and my reel and I'm headed to the lake, yeah. What's going on guys? It's July, late July, and uh, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. Heading to go pick up Randy. We're going to go get on the Smith Hill today, do some fishing. I got the goon hat on, but that's because it's going to be 110 degrees and I don't feel like getting beat up by the sun today. Okay guys, for today, I don't really know how it's going to work. I'd love to explain this day a little more to you. Um, it's going to be super, super hot. My complete background is pretty much like crappie bluegill pan fishing and bass. I spent the majority of my youth and teenage years non-stop bass fishing, learning and researching as much as I can to become the best Your bass angler I possibly could. But that bite's going to be really tough today. Uh, Randy is a very very big cat fisherman he's very very big into cat fishing and kind of what all goes into that and he's a do-it-yourselfer he makes a lot of his own weights and stuff like stuff like that so if the bass bites a little too difficult for me and I'm just trying to get footage we might opt in and just making this a cat fishing video because uh yeah we're talking over a hundred and five hundred and ten degree heat index it's just gonna be extremely difficult so uh, right now we're heading to go get him so let's do it While I'm going through my work day I listen to my boss Though he's driving me berserk eh? Damn it, I can't take much more Because my brain is really hurting And now the bank is always calling And right I now. don't know what to do And I haven't bought a crack Got yeah, a little channel Not bad He's telling me it's good <laughs> telling you he swallowed it so That's the worst thing about the small channels Is before you even have a time To really feel what's going on He's kind of engulfing it what happened here is, guys, this little guy had a chance to kind of start engulfing the uh, bait before he had an extra chance to took. So it was in there so deep, no matter what, the fish is going to die. So we just went ahead and flayed him up. We're going to throw him in the bag with ice, let it stay nice and chill, and somebody's going to have something to eat later. So sometimes you got to do that stuff when you're out here, guys. Sorry. It's like 1992, but the bass are out there schooling and they're ready to attack. And I got all my favorite lures and they're loaded in my pack. All that stress that's in my body's always driving me insane. When I'm reeling in that buzzbait, it just seems to go away. Now you see, fishing ain't a habit, it's a passion in my souls. When I'm casting and I'm smashing all these bass that are on my pole. Now for a minute or an hour, if I'm fishing, then I'm fine. I just only need a second when I'm wetting up a line. So if the weather's super crappy or you might be stuck in Side search G4 Outdoors YouTube online. But as I look up and I ask, can I please just catch a break? I got my rod and my reel and I'm headed to the lake, yeah. And now the bank is always calling. I got bills I need to pay. I got my rods and my reels and I'm headed to the lake. All right, guys, I've been bottom bouncing a couple things. I tried dot, uh, drop shotting a uh, Cinco for a little bit. Um, I don't know, the wind's just kind of carrying me a little bit too much off the boat, and I'm having a hard time feeling what I'm doing. So I'm going to switch. Got a little bit of chop on the water. I'm trying to see if I can't get some flash uh, slow rolling the spinner bait for a little bit. All right, guys, so the story of the day is I think I'm not going to continue bass fishing. I'm just going to go straight into cat fishing. It is a tough one. Randy's hooked up. It's 
just my life. I truly love it, but I also love those crappies frying up those crispy nuggets. Yeah, we'll be cruising down the lake with fresh water in our face. Put golden crispies on your plate if you just really want to taste. So if you're in a bad spot, got a frown up on your face, back lashing with a bait caster, still a good day. And if you just got off of work and you're running out of time. Right now, what we're throwing, guys, we got about a 20 pound. I really don't know what line this is, if I can say. I know it's mono, but. And he's got a three ounce and a little plastic uh, bump stop to prevent causing damage to the uh, swivel itself. Uh, about eight, eight inches to a foot on the leader, and then it's your typical uh, catfish punch bait is what we're throwing. Well, we finally got a decent one on. So on the finder we found a little spot that's kind of jumping from about three feet to about, what was it at? About 17 feet, which is a really good drop off. And it's holding some panfish and he's had a couple bites on uh, the catfish right now. Starting to finally bite now. We just got hooked up with doubles. Got a small little flag crappie. Oh, you did get <laughs> awesome. Is he watching mine? So it looks like uh, oh, yeah. about the same size. So back home, man, we are done for the day. The GoPro's batteries died. I left all the extras in the truck, but the day was okay. The bass bite was pretty much pointless, so I, I quit bass fishing within the first 30 minutes. Water temperature was like 87 to 89 degrees, bluebird skies, 110 degrees outside. That bite wasn't even gonna happen. So I switched it up to crappie. He continued fishing catfish. He did pretty good on the catfish. Ended up catching one, I think maybe two and a half, three pounds on a channel cat. Uh, caught four, maybe five decent crappie. Three were probably keepers, so I mean, not a horrible day. We definitely caught some stuff, but it's just a hot, miserable, nasty day today. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. With the weather super crappy, or you might be stuck inside. Search G4 Outdoors YouTube online. But as I look up and I ask, can I please just catch a break? I got my.